Is Valorant dying? Is it a dead game now? Is it finished? Well, we're about to find out. So let's jump straight into it. I could happily say it isn't. They're probably wondering, why, 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 why isn't it dying? If you're not aware of the news of what's happening, what's going down with Valorant, there's, been, there's four new agents this year. One being already announced, which is Gecko. if you're not aware. He's a, an initiator. He's got a little wingman. I must say, he is Mr. Steal Your Girl. That's what I'm saying. He has Riz. He is the Riz master. I'm not even joking. But anyway, there are, will be three more this year being announced throughout the next acts and episodes. That's just agents. There's probably going to be about four new maps. I think lastly, we've got Icebox, Breeze, Fracture, Lotus? Or was Lotus? Yeah, Lotus? There's, there's four new maps. So probably going to be like another five new maps rotating. Vine's gone out for Lotus, I think. And Breeze as well is gone. So yeah, there's there's a lot. There's a lot going on there, I must say. The whole rotating maps is very, very cool. But the the issue is I, I personally want to raise this. I kind of miss the old maps like Bind. I know a lot of people are going to be rent to me in the comments. But Bind is actually one of my favorite maps. Because I'm a Cypher main, Cypher trips and Cypher setups on that map is amazing. Like I can't lie, it's, there's a lot to come this year. And I'm very excited for what Valorant is going to do, what Riot in general is going to do this year. Because there's also speculation about a lot of people moving back to their old games such as CSGO 2. Which is coming out soon this year, I don't know when. But that's been speculated to come out this year because there's Source Engine Plus. I would like to also address a lot of pros and a lot of people like, I don't know if it's a joke or if it's serious. But a lot of people like, I'm going back to CSGO because... There's a new source engine, 128 tick, etc, etc. I'm going to actually check right now the current peak for CSGO. March 12, the peak time was 2 o'clock. There was 1.4 million players playing CSGO. That was yesterday at 4 p.m. The time I'm recording this is on the 13th of March. So this is probably going to come out in two weeks. But right now, Sunday, March 12th, 2 o'clock was 1.4 million players. Now, if we go yesterday... Yesterday, players tracked and players peaked for Valorant was 6.4 million. Now, I don't know if this is very accurate, but 6.4 million people played Valorant yesterday. The game has six times the amount of players that are playing. It's it's amazing. It's out. It's just crazy. And the population of Valorant is estimated to 50 million players. Last year, it peaked to about it peaked to 20 million players playing it monthly. And obviously it's been a decrease. It's now March, it's now New Year, it's been three months, and now there's only 15 million. But still, it that it doesn't really matter. So when we say is Valorant dying, it is not. Let's just get it straight away, get it, get that out of the way. There's probably thousands and thousands and thousands of players that are either starting to play now or played since beta like me and just trying to improve, trying to get better, trying to evolve themselves. That's the point I would like to make. Valorant is not dead or will be dying because there's so much content, so many things that Riot could do. There's so much with the story that a lot of people are invested in, I need to get invested into it because there's a lot of things that I don't actually know. And I want to get involved. I want to understand what this whole Valorant lore is. It's just amazing to see what Riot are doing. And yeah. And on top of that, Valorant itself has such a unique thing. Yes, cool. They've taken factors of from CSGO mechanics. They've taken things from uh, League of Legends with the champions and the overwatch uh, agents or overwatch characters and used power-ups and all sorts but with those powers you could do so many things with those agent abilities you could do so many things and there's not even just there's not one there's like 24 now so yeah there's there's so much more in store when it comes to valorant you could be playing you could either made one player or you could play all 22 it's up to you i love valorant itself but the people that play it are just insanely mad and insanely just not the best the people that i run into in the game aren't really the best should we say like toxic they're either toxic or they're just egotistic and so what does that mean not saying valorant is a bad game i'm just saying the people that play it can be a little bad so just be wary if you are if you are trying to play valorant etc just to let you know it can be a bit difficult sometimes but overall spike rush is fun ranked can be fun it's the way your mindset works in this game. It's been your boy Wodger. Keep smiling and be yourself. Stay awesome. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below if you think Valorant is dying or not. And give me your opinion because I would like to know. Let's get a discussion going down in the comments. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Take care. 
Adiós.